Good day. My name's Tom Singer. I'm the PI of the STEM Guitar Project, and I'm coming to you today to talk a little bit about the upcoming Electric CNC course. What's interesting is that we're utilizing in the CNC section, which is what I'm going to focus on, a software called Autodesk Fusion 360. It is free for educators, it is free for students, it is free for schools to use. Hence the reason why we selected it. We're going to talk a little bit about the course training overview. Um, in our program, we're basically going to be doing a couple of things. We're going to go through the process of how to do basic CAD design using Fusion 360. And the reason why that's important is CAD design drives all model creation. And that means you'll have the skill set of creating models for 3D printing, for lasering, and for CNC output. And our second major component that we're going to be uh, focusing on in our course is how to convert the CNC drawing model into CNC code. So how to create your drawing model into a CNC usable code. Now each CNC is unique and different, so we're going to be utilizing a generic one through Forest Scientific that we've worked with, that we use in our lab, but the process is what we're instructing. Your specific CNC, if you have one, and if you don't, we still encourage you to go through the CNC portion, especially for the CAD design capabilities. Autodesk has just announced that faculty will be able to assign 125 student licenses from their accounts. So as an educator, you can go to autodesk.com education home, or I always link through students.autodesk.com, and set up an account as a faculty member. And once you do that, there's a lot of support. You can download the software for free for your use, you can download it on a PC and on a laptop, um, which is nice. But the whole idea is that they do really support the education community. And so the process is once you create your Autodesk account, they'll confirm your eligibility. So using a .edu email address from your school is advantageous if your school does not provide you email accounts or they are not EDU, they may ask for additional verification uh, to verify that you are a faculty member. And then it's a matter of just selecting the products and downloading them. Um, and so it, what products can you download? Well, we're going to be utilizing Fusion 360. Now, if you want to use Fusion 360 on a Chromebook, for example, if your students get Chromebooks, you can run Fusion 360 on a Chromebook. So you can do browser access only through Fusion 360. That happened just this last year uh, for uh, students. There's also the other design softwares that you can get involved with. Revit is an architectural design tool for 3D modeling architectural structures. AutoCAD is the mainstay that's been around since the mid-1980s for two-dimensional drawing creation. Uh, Inventor is the software that Fusion 360 is improving upon. Uh, and so that's been out for quite a while, over 20 years. Again, Maya is a game-making modeling software tool. So there is just a ton of free software that if you wanted to get involved, you could do it. If you don't, that's OK, too. So the whole idea is that you have got access to thousands and thousands of dollars worth of software that you can use not only to learn personally, but you could also share with your students. We're going to encourage you to download the Fusion 360 or the Fusion 360 for browser access. Either way, Fusion 360 primarily works online which is one of the cool capabilities. And you'll see that in our courses, and this happens to be our Canvas course, so this is a sneak peek of what you're going to be able to work with. Uh, in the Canvas course, you're going to see that there's 
some pre-work for CNC development. There's a good video on the basic pre-work. We're going to ask you to download the actual model file that we're going to use in Fusion 360. So once you download the model file, when you open up Fusion 360, you're going to be able to, to open it. And so you can actually use an open command and open a design file from your computer. And the 2018 guitar building Fusion 360 file is what you're is what we're using. I happen to have it in my list already, and if I double click, of course. And so if I open using the open button on the bottom, it opens up a model file which is basically the block that we utilize for our design. Okay, so this shows you all the key components for our for our guitar body design blocks. And so routed out neck pockets, pickup pockets, the drill locations for the bridge, but the rest of the guitar can be custom designed. And so that's what you're going to be doing is custom designing a guitar body that could be created through a CNC routing process. That's the goal for the CNC environment. So you get to actually take a guitar custom design body that you're looking forward to that you're going to be able to develop in just a couple of weeks and a few sessions of CNC. So you can actually start to play around with this. Now, how do you get started in Fusion? You know, where do you start? You know, it looks pretty daunting. So the best way is, is to watch a couple of YouTube videos. Now, granted, we have some YouTube videos that you can use. There are some really good videos. So if you want to learn how to create projects in Fusion 360, there are some really good videos. And so I've got Fusion 360 videos in, in my YouTube channel. There's Lars Christensen, which is a really excellent educator um, who teaches basic Fusion 360. And so there are a few places where you can download these free tutorials. So if you just check out Lars Christensen, and then Lars also has an intro to CNC, I just Googled to see if I could find some basic Fusion 360 modeling videos. And I found one that was pretty nice. And I do, as I indicated, have our own, my own channel. And that does include some Fusion 360 videos and guitar design Fusion 360 videos that are used in our Canvas lessons. And so there's a lot of support out there for you to explore this opportunity to learn basic CAD design that you can use in your classroom along with the concept of 3D printing or lasering or CNC's. The basics of CAD design drives all that imagination technology. The other thing I wanted to, to make sure that you're aware of is that the CNC portion is voluntary. Even though this is a combined electric guitar CNC class, but we're really encouraging you to try out the Fusion 360 because it truly is not that hard. And if you teach math or science or CTE, these are all, the Fusion 360 is directly related to all those areas. But in any environment, the whole idea is that this is the basis on how to create objects that you dream up. And having that skill, have a great day. And we'll see you in an upcoming class.